Hi. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about um, a realization I made while I was, uh, while I've been in the process of healing my candida overgrowth from antibiotics from Lyme. And uh, that was, I heard a lot about <clears throat> how candida is really bad. Like there's good bacteria, there's bad bacteria. We hear this all the time, you know, and candida is the bad bacteria and it has to be kept in check by the good bacteria. So when you take antibiotics, you kill all the good bacteria and then the bad bacteria go crazy and go fungal and create leaky gut syndrome and a whole bunch of autoimmune disorders and you know everything from fi chronic fatigue to fibromyalgia to Hashimoto's and and so just wanted to touch base on something that I realized I, I kept asking myself well how can there be something bad in the body like why would it be there in the first place like why wouldn't the body have gotten rid of it why is the good bacteria always keeping it in check and so I, I started doing some research online, and, and for a while I couldn't find an answer. And then finally, finally, I discovered that um, the purpose of candida, the quote-unquote bad bacteria, is to break down the body when it's dead. And so I thought, oh my gosh, so if the good bacteria aren't around, this candida thinks that the body's dead. So we have all these people in the world walking around as basically walking cadavers, while the candida is doing its work trying to break down the body and we don't have any good bacteria in there. So when I started thinking about it in terms of not good versus bad, but how do I bring things back into balance, that's when I started to gain some traction. And so, you know, it's a, it's a slow process, but um, having the faith that bringing things into balance as opposed to good versus bad and killing off has completely changed my approach to it. So you may want to take that in consideration too. Good luck in your uh, healing journey.